Okay, I'm inside Meditrator, which I think is just the most popular and most um, simple and, and most powerful uh, platform there is, and they've updated it, and um, you know they keep on rebuilding it. And so I'm inside of uh, the Strategy Tester, and that's basically... You have to go up to, oh, I chopped it off. You have to go up to, like, um, view. You can't see it on here, but it's up there at the top, view. Then you come down here to strategy tester, or just hit control, hold down the control key, key and hit R. And so you'll be able to uh, launch this. Um, I'm just running the most basic sample that came here with this. It's called MACD sample. I think it's in every one. And it just does a just a real basic buy on the crossover MACD and sell. And I didn't even change any settings on it, but I'm just using it so I can run the simulation of what the market looks like and as it unfolds in front of you. So I'm just going to load a one hour chart, and this thing starts in 2001 somewhere. I don't know if that's August or September. I don't know these European. I can't remember if these are European uh, sequence on these. Um, so I'm just going to hit start and uh, no optimization picked or nothing like that. Just it's okay now, it's going to grab all the data and uh, okay, there you go. Now it's playing back the market, and on the weekend, I can't really. I want to trade and the market's closed so this is my workaround so I can practice um, my or visualize my entries so uh, yeah I got this visual mode checked here and use the date range and then count every tick and just using the euro dollar because I guess that's the smoothest data there's the most participants so it's the most liquid market so the um, Let's see here. So I, I created a template that has 100 pip handles by this big numbers guy. Some guy named Big Numbers out there on the internet. And my template is just going to load. Well, this one's built with just the close only. But, um, you know, it's a great thing to practice the um, your entries or figure out where you'd want to get in. You can still run your your uh, you can still you could you can't place orders in this situation unfortunately you can't some I, I think there is something out there but I haven't been able to find it it's uh, would be something where I could actually trade this account live in playbacks uh, um, strategy mode the strategy tester running while I'm actually trading it would be great but uh, for now I'm just on a one hour chart I'm just gonna have to suffer with imagining that this is my entry my buy entry and where I would get out and then I could draw a channel on here I just like the equidistant channel because it's the, the cleanest um, kind of uh, it just it just seems to make sense as if it's falling down the stairway and eventually um, you know the stairway comes to an end and it's got to go up a stairway so and I can kind of like put orders in down here so right now I'd probably be putting an order in down here and you know I could walk away from this and come back it's a one-hour chart but the beauty of this is is that if you're an impatient person which I am I could see that this is gonna take th two hours for this setup if I'm gonna trade the breakout of this bar here I'm gonna have to wait <clears throat> like two hours or more for them to fill me in a stop here, if I had a stop entry, um, and then I had a protective stop up here, because I'm going to, you know, after I go short, I'm going to have a protect my position. Or am I going to sell up here and put the stop up here? You know, I mean, it's just endless. But you can sit here and, um, I guess if you wanted to write, and there's, so you have a stop here. You have a sell stop here, and, you know, you could change the color and all that nonsense. You know, make the red sell or something. I don't actually like red on a monitor because it's just vibrating too hard. But 
Yeah, this is like, okay, so that'd be your cell. And then um, you want to speed the thing up because you're super impatient. You just want to play this back. I guess it's how fast you could trade. But it's still going to take, um, so we're coming up on three hours here for this candle to paint. And um, this broker actually paints, uh, I think, 10 seconds before the top of the hour. And so the candles actually look different. If you're a candle aficionado, you're going to see, oh, that's a really insane hammer. And as opposed to the other one, it's like a, like this, this, this star um, thing here is very big deal. Okay, so now this would be the down the stairway strategy, uh, getting in on a stop here. I kind of would have sold at the market here, maybe with a stop here, at least a little bit of a position. Let this, it's your classic entry you see everybody do. But this can turn against you because the market could break this trend line or whatever you want to call it, supply line, you know, fill in the blank, and then just go rocketing up, you know, take off. Of course, you know, here you'd have to tighten your stop up if you're all paranoid about that, you know. But at least with these 100 pip handles, you know that you've got to put a stop in, you know, way out there to, um, you know, if you wanted to, um, protect that position uh, you could put in 50 pip handles uh, on this thing I could have on here and I could imagine like how big a position can I trade of course when you start zooming out here you know 100 pips is like no big deal to the market apparently you know get way out and um, but I mean for the guy that's the the weekly trader he's looking way back in here saying wow <laughs> put some orders in here all along there, you know, just the whole, the whole, um, whole area there. I gotta try to get these buttons, can't see. Somebody turn the lights off. Okay. Here's your, uh, each slice is a day, and, uh, that would be, um, 24 hours and 100 pips square. So it's 100 pips by uh, 24 hours or a day or, um, you know. So all these little bars in here. So, But you can see how um, some people would say, well, this is just noise here. Well, I don't know. Put some 50 pip handles on that. Take a look at it. There's a million trades in there. And so on playback, you know, okay, so it's going to, so far where genius is it's kind of looks like it's going to even though it came up here and totally creamed your stop if you put it in too tight now it's starting to um you know go go down as we would think you know um you got filled here because you put your stop one pip below like these people tell you which you know you just can't you know, you have to have a backup plan for if it's not going to go down the stairway. See, now it's blowing the stairway out. Now what? Do you buy? Do you chase it? Well, I, I, I wouldn't chase it. If I miss that, I, I missed it. I go to another currency pair and just uh, forget about it. You know? Um, I mean, certainly this situation, if you would run this as a line chart, you, you would have seen that coming because you'd be this major pivot point here this uh, top 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 bottom double bottom you know high potentiality for this uh, down um, staircase story to be over with you know the story can only last so long with this you know and then if you wanted to speed this up because you're so damn impatient you know and like uh, you gotta be careful as you turn the speed up the last few notches uh, make quite a bit of difference and there's only 32 increments of speed depending on your broker now this is set to the highest speed here a little tough to draw trend lines at this rate but it kind of shows you just how insane the market is okay the market's insane all day long because um, it's constantly um, trying to backfill <laughs> or upfill you know I mean, this is crazy stuff here. I mean, if you had a 25 pip stop on this stuff, you'd be getting chopped. If you had a trend um, machine, you're running a trend robot. You're getting your ass killed here. You just get you. You're just the. You you you're losing money all day. But if you're scalping, 
uh, or if you're putting in orders, say, um, where you're not going to overtrade it because you're going to say, okay, we'll go up the stairway here. So I would put a uh, put a buy order down here. I mean, it seems insane, but you know, market can come down here, no problem. And uh, it seems like oh, 100 pips. How could it move 100 pips in an hour? Well, oh my God, it's just up and down here, 50 pips all the time here. But I don't see a place to get in yet. So in this speed mode, though, you can see how long it takes for a trade to set up. It's just ridiculous. Now, you could have had a, a sell limit up in this, which is my favorite trade. It's to scalp that, and now look at it. I mean, it's just, this is just proof that the market can move oh, 200 pips in two hours here. Now, this is, if you were planning on the market doing something particularly, you have a scenario in your head, and this starts to happen. Are you able to get a new plan developed in time to capture the next spike? Because to me, this is where all the money's at. Right here. This, you had a buy limit here, and you just grabbed that because the guys that are trading this stairway, this up um, trajectory, that, you know... This story's over. The down, down stairway is done. Okay, a little, um, come up here and do the double tap. Okay, now look at this. This is insane. Now, if I have my buy limits down here, this is what I'm doing. Uh, hurry up and throw these in, but this is how I trade it. Let's start buying here. And people, oh my God, no, real, yeah, no, I'm buying like crazy, man. Okay, I see um, three hours down. I'm buying. Looks like the MACD just um, lost money here. But um, yeah, I just think the uh, strategy tester is more like a psychology tester for. Um, you see a move like this. Okay, you bought that bounce. You just scalped that maybe. Now what? God, who knows? I would say put buy limits down here. Okay, so here we go. You picked up a ticket. I'd say get, get out right now. And just, you know what, I mean, it may go to the moon. But you don't know that. So, yeah, look how it went up and retested that top. But you can really see how structure unfolds. And you could play this back and um, just, you know, uh, visualize what kind, of, what kind of tactics you would need to capitalize on these moves because... Um, this up and down drama people call noise on the hourly. Wow. <laughs> it's just some amazing setups in here. Okay, this looks like a beautiful, um, we just got a beautiful, like, firm uh, thing here. So, okay, now I'm definitely buying down here. I am buying so, like, crazy style in here. Oh, yeah. See, now I cashed out of that. Okay, I scalped that. But I still got my other, because I think we might go down, possibly. But this way, I don't get involved unless, well, look at that. See, now if I was trading, scaling in and out, I might have still some left on the table there to come back up in here. And if, you, if it's only a small position, it just went up, you know, you're up uh, 200 pips, you know. Uh, in case you just broke that that stairway there, that down stairway. So maybe you're forming a new... Uh, takeoff point, but I still think we could come back and retest this. So I uh, would leave my limit orders in here because I don't want to get involved unless it's a really ridiculous price. Like this whole, um, of course, this took like five hours for this to come down and retest into there. And, um, you know, okay, now you're going in the next session here. You know, there's probably no liquidity here on the open and it falls down and okay now it's going to start probing hopefully get into my uh my buy limits here but it's just a neat it's just a neat training device so it's kind of like flight simulator um you know just basically